Hi, my name is James, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about YouTube gaming and also substituting complementary goods. So, first off, um, a substitute good is a sort of a product that you use in place of another. So, for example, if you thought beef was too expensive and you bought chicken instead, then chicken becomes a substitute for beef and is now a substitute good. Uh, another example might be someone who doesn't really game that often, but they still want to get a console, so instead of paying regularly for Xbox Live, even though they would have preferred an Xbox, they get a PlayStation instead because it would just be too expensive to have such regular payments for something they wouldn't use that often. So, moving on to the idea of utility, um, which is simply how well something meets our needs and wants. So that could be food uh, meeting our needs uh, to eat and have sufficient nutrition, or it could be uh, another type, say chocolate, which is also food, but that means I want to have something like the sort of the pleasure of having something sweet and sugary. Um, so what a substitute does is by me it meets the same needs and wants of the product it's substituting for. So it sort of drains the utility that product could have provided. So for beef example, if I eat a load of chicken, then I'm not going to enjoy eating beef straight afterwards as much as I would have enjoyed eating beef before I ate the chicken. So if we look on a supply and demand diagram as to what's going on, um, so we've got a supply and demand for beef and we've got the scenario where chicken becomes really cheap and what this means is that people are getting less utility from eating beef because they're buying more chicken because it's become cheaper. Um, so this shift in the demand curve uh, leads to a new mar market equilibrium uh, causing the price of beef to fall and in addition to that less people consume it so this isn't very good for the market of beef uh, anywhere that sells beef is going to lose out on a lot of money here so uh, in the context of gaming if we look at um, some sort of game based on uh, narrative or emotion uh, if I watch someone else play that, like a let's player then I'm not going to enjoy the game if I go and play it myself because my want to experience the sort of sad story or brilliant, uh, brilliant narrative or whatever it was that attracted me to that game has already been satisfied and going and playing it won't um, it won't meet that want anymore so it's not going to provide any utility so I'm not going to go play it so just, uh, just two examples that I can think of are oh, That Dragon Cancer and Firewatch um, I'm sure there's hundreds more examples. Um, if you don't know what those games are, uh, I would recommend going and checking them out. I watched uh, YouTubers play them actually, and I thought they were really good stories. But having watched them, uh, having watched them play it, I then wasn't willing to go and pay the full price and play the game myself because I wouldn't experience anything new. So on the other hand, we have complementary goods, and this is something where if I have it in combination with uh, another good actually boost the utility so for example a CD and a CD player or if we look at food and condiments having chips to put tomato sauce or ketchup on means that I'm going to get more utility from the ketchup or tomato sauce so I will then be willing to pay more uh, I'll be willing to pay more money for the ketchup if I have the chips two other examples are game consoles and games to, uh, games to actually play and mp3 players and music oh wrong side there, don't want the conclusion quite yet um, so if we look at that in the context of gaming gaming videos on YouTube um, for our, sort of arcade games types of shooters like Call of Duty, Rocket League and Don't Starve this time when I watch someone play that uh, like a first person shooter I might really like the look of it and then want to go play it for myself uh, conversely if I'm really enjoying an arcade game like that or something like League of Legends, I might want to go on YouTube and watch some uh, people who are really good at it play just for entertainment value. So it can sort of work both ways. They boost each other's utility or sort of in, uh, create a demand for it. Uh, so now I am ready for the, uh, qu a quick conclusion. So complementary goods uh, increase the utility you get from a product or substitute goods decrease it. So different kind of games are going to be differently affected by Let's Plays and Walkthroughs because those games are meeting different needs. So, um, one point actually is sometimes big YouTubers can save game companies 
by raising awareness, like we just said. So, for example, the whole reason uh, Flappy Bird became popular was actually because PewDiePie decided to play it in one of his videos. No one really knew what the game was until he did that, and then suddenly it became quite viral. But uh, conversely, uh, big, uh, big YouTubers can actually sap huge numbers of cells by providing a substitute like the dra that Dragon Cancer and Firewatch, for example. Uh, I hope this video uh, explained things well enough and you've enjoyed watching it. If you have, please uh, leave a like, comment or subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.